What's up guys, it's Motorco here and in this video we're going to be doing the breaker demonstration part two. Uh, I, I failed to mention this in part one, but just so you guys know, this is this is an updated video. I've already done one previous to this, but it was kind of old and it didn't have some of the new information um, for, you know, recent events. So I, I just wanted to go ahead and, and refresh and kind of do this again. I've been asked to do this. A couple of times by various people so that's the reason why I'm doing these let's start off with the first turn for hunter hunter is a little bit different than the, than my assassin because uh, on my hunter I do have five actions starting instead of four and as a result the first turn uh, shapes up just a little bit different I'm able to kind of help out with orb generation a little bit better and I don't necessarily have to drive to be efficient so I, I go ahead and do that. I, I use as many orbs as I possibly can uh, in my attempt to try to get Artemis and uh, still drive orbs for the party and be efficient in my ability to drive orbs for the party and not just do one attack. Uh, I try not to do that if I possibly can as a breaker, uh, but there are situa definitely situations where that occurs and that's kind of a thing. This black mage is not playing very well. Um, so basically I went ahead and I just called that I'll go first and I'll break, right? Because I saw that my orb situation was such that I could, and, and the orange bar was such that I could go ahead and break it in one turn. And my, my orb generation was good enough to where I had, I had the setup to go ahead and do this. Okay. And instead of listening to me, the Black Mage just got, go, goes ahead of me and uh, uses a Blizzard. Um, if he would have went last, he would have got himself more orbs, been more efficient in, in any drives that he possibly had, and he would have killed the Guardian all in the same turn. So instead, we end up with this really awkward turn next turn, and I don't know what to do. Um, there's a couple of different ideas here. Uh, the prevailing sentiment probably would just be to go ahead and drive away your orbs. However, I personally did not like that idea because I, I wanted to have access to my uh, my water taunt in case I needed it for a free. Uh, it, in the end, it didn't matter. I didn't end up needing it. But, you know, it's always good to kind of plan ahead and try to set yourself up uh, uh, for future turns as best as possible. Plus, I already had Artemis up, so I didn't really necessarily need uh, to really fish for, for more orbs. Uh, I basically had everything that I need. I had Artemis and I had the Ice Poo Poo up. So we go ahead and kill the Guardian. And then this next turn is crucial, guys. Um, so I, I have six actions, right? And I could, I could go ahead and push for a break. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. However, the next turn you're going to notice you're going to notice a couple of different things here. Let me pause this. The buffs, um, notice the buffs. The white mage is really far behind in getting his buffs up. He's only cast barrier at this point. He doesn't have Moogle up. He doesn't have any other buffs up. So um, in order to kind of give the white mage another turn and more time, I go ahead and choose not to break here. I use as many actions as I think uh, is going to be required to get the boss as low as possible without breaking. And on a hunter, I feel like four four with Artemis up is probably going to get me really close. Um, and so what ends up happening here is the the Black Mage since he used so many orbs. I'm going to go ahead and give him give him orb generation. He'll get seven orbs of the nine that he spent back here. And then that'll set him up better for the break round. And also, uh, in case he fails to uh, kill the boss, which is a very real possibility considering how many orbs he used, um, then we'll have a second break round to where we can go ahead and just finish off the boss without having to actually take the time to break again. So here we go for the break. Um, it turns out that the Black Mage can't finish off the boss here. I don't know why he's using blizzards, but he is. Um, the support kind of puts some icy brains in, and the boss gets down to pretty low health, and then we um, were able to finish the boss on the second turn. 
Um, now, for the second turn, I kind of knew the fight was over, so I just did whatever actions I felt necessary. Uh, you guys don't need to see the rest of the fight. That That's pretty much everything that you need to know in, in terms of break and, and everything else. Um, so, anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much what I have for the breaker for the breaker demonstration. Um, again, don't be in a rush to, to, to break the boss. There are scenarios and situations where it is better to wait, um, especially if you're white mage and your attacker are not ready uh, with their buffs and with their uh, orb situation. Um, so, you know, you could even wait as long as turn five if you absolutely have to, and it'll still be okay. Um, also, you have to kind of keep an eye on the hit points of the party as well. If the hit points of the party are getting pretty low, then you should probably just go ahead and break and allow the, the break turns to give the white mage more time to recover the party. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any comments or anything or any questions concerning breaking and stuff, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get the, to them as much as possible. Um, I'll try to do the best I can in answering any questions that you have. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you next video.